Hey guys, this is Nico, and as you can see, I hatched a shiny gauntlet. Um, just like before, took me by surprise, wasn't expecting it. I'm trying to think of, I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of it today. So I'm just going to go ahead and nickname it. Um... And it was the third one in the batch, so I'm going to go ahead and save. No gene device. I was hatching for it. Um, I know I have one full box, but I was doing like a soft reset method. Um, so... I'd say about a hundred eggs. Mm, pardon me. There's a normal gullet for comparison purposes. And since there's only one left, I'll go ahead and hatch this one. Honestly, I haven't been hunting much because, number one, I just haven't really been into the spirit of hunting, and number two, I just haven't had time. Um, I really don't have a lot to say. Um, work's just kind of been work. I'm sorry, I really don't have a lot to say, but I just... It's been one of those days for me. One of those weeks. Okay, I was talking to one dragon lady, one on Skype. Where did my stat? There it is. Okay. So, I did not see the nature. So, um, Dragon Lady guesses naive. This is a recap. My shiny Zorark. My shiny Charmeleon. Shiny Qualadin. 
Quilladin, Shiny Dedene, Shiny Snorlax, and Shiny Golet. That is really cool. It's Lonely Nature. With Iron Fist. So that's actually pretty good. It ups attack. Cool. This actually works out for me because Houdini does have the illusion ability. So he'll be able to imitate Gaiji so you can see what he looks like in battle. So there's a normal Swirlix. The shiny Golet. Of course it is my Zoroark again. But... I don't trust my level 1 Golet to be able to outrun the level 14 Swirlix. And a Horde of Hoppet. Wow, good job, camera. Good job, camera. I'm gonna do one more. There we go. Alright, so that's Shiny Golet. Thanks for watching. And good luck with your hunts.